today on hard mode backwards. Okay. <laughs> uh, don't. <laughs> I saw. I was like, yeah, that's a that's a dip. A thousand bucks. Not even enough to recover it. Okay, welcome back. We're just gonna take this fuel trailer. It is uh, empty. To the sawmill here. This poor Voron grad, I've been uh, putting it through heck. <laughs> That is not a solid winch point. No. Yeah, it's been a tough go for this little truck. <laughs> Come on, get out of there. Okay. I think we're just going to leave this here, like this. I have no idea if this trailer goes away, but it is right at the cusp of what I can turn it in with, so probably does. Yep. Ooh, more cutscenes. What the? <laughs> Interesting. Alright. Man, top top notch freaking cutscenes in this. They need to uh they need to spend more time on that, I think. Okay. Um so it's time to get ourselves time to get ourselves a phoenix but in order to do that we need to uh, make a little trek with this fella and get ourselves a repair trailer and then we also need to bring some fuel so this is going to be kind of an interesting double trip I did take a look on the map there is another scout fuel carrier trailer that we're going to go snag to fill it so we'll have to make two trips This guy's almost empty. We are probably gonna have to bring that fuel truck. I don't know, we'll see. They are small maps, again. Okay. The first things first, we're gonna just make our way towards the warehouse that we've been going to on this same route, because we don't have the bridge fixed. That'll be soon.
Okay. I mean, I guess now is a good a time as I need to go get a fuel truck. Whoops. I was peeking at the other screen. My fault. I think it's full, right? Pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Make a little trek this way. We're gonna take the railroad tracks, I think. Uh, I don't need that guy right this second. In fact, I don't think I need that guy at all. I think we're covered. Yeah, we're gonna go straight and up the hill. Be like trying to winch through that. Although we're winching through this. Yeah, this has got to come here anyhow. I got to bring the uh, log trucks and stuff over as well, but uh, and we got to bring two concrete slabs as well with the uh, like the Kenworth. Boy, how much that white western stack? I didn't bring one of those here. We could, but I'm not gonna. I guess we could skip getting the fuel trailer for the moment and just use this to fill it. That would be a slightly shorter trip, even though this is an extra trip, but... Stay right on top of that railroad track. We're cruising nice. Just like that. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is when we do finally get the uh, Voron grad back, we're going to swap it to OHB ones. Because this thing did that just fine. A little bit of winching, but I mean, it, it definitely like pulled through in the muddy spots. We'll see how it does here. There's some muddy spots here as well. And if it, if it makes a difference for the stability as it's towing things, or loading heavy weights. I think we're just going to swap it to OHD ones. I don't know why I didn't put them on in the first place. I tend to put, whenever a truck has the ability to have OHD ones, I tend to just throw them on there. Um, yeah, we can absorb the last of this fuel. Nah, we'll leave it. This thing is a fuel truck. We'll leave it for something else that might need it. random route in the road. Don't need a chain reaction. 
yeah these tires are just fine here driving right through it yep we definitely hit a uh, gibbet there at a bad angle myself free of this. <laughs> Make a little train here for a second. Refuel both of us. The only thing bad about this Voron A2, this Voron, there's two bad things about it. It's way more thirsty than the other Voron. Um, pretty stable though. I mean, it's just as stable, I guess. Uh, but it uh, is very thirsty, and it doesn't turn very well. Turns of the turn rate is very slow. Yep, see this has got OHD1s as well. Got the OHD1 gang. So there is... Uh, not yet. We'll have to make a little side trip. Go pick up a repair trailer. Uh, I think we might drive these separate. I don't want to bust tires, preferably. I'm in need of all of the tires on this thing. fellow through <clears throat> see if yeah, this one's this one's sketchy in anything this crossing is I can't I really need to fix that bridge <laughs> we'll probably be doing that in the next episode maybe we'll even start it in this one stuck on, sir. Something. There we go. Okay, so a ways and then a little bit we should see it to the right in the swamp we gotta go get this service trailer we're gonna use it to repair that and then we're gonna use our fuel truck to fill it and we'll be good to go Yeah. 
Just a little slow going through. Doesn't matter what tires you put on, I think it's just slow through here. Nope. Missed. There we go. And I see our swamp. Uh, where's our trailer? Over there. I should have shut that off, but shouldn't be too far of a side trip here. Hopefully I can reach it from here. Yep. That's definitely way the way to get this one out of here. I'm gonna hit that tree. And that's not a movable tree, darn it. Almost flipped it again. Almost. Okay. Come with me. Gonna flip that trailer though. Okay, can I reach? Barely. Tip over, please. Okay. Got it. Probably have to winch our way through this. Ease. Okay. Okay. I was lucky. It just... What time did it hit? That's when evening is, by the way. 8.30. So when that little flash of light happens, that's when it is actually evening. Sometimes that happens in maps where like it, you get like a slight amplification to the light, which is kind of weird, but... I'm just going to get up here to flat, safe ground. What? Oh. 
That's what happened. It yoinked against the stump. That's what happened. And this stopping hard in its tracks yanked me over. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Okay, we need to go up further. Yep, I think we're definitely gonna... I mean, we're gonna be done with that truck, though, when we get... Oh, no, we won't. We need it still for uh, doing railroad tracks. So, yeah, we'll swap, we'll swap it over to uh, OHD ones when we get it over to the other map to turn in the two wooden planks. So that's the plan with that one. We're gonna grab six and then turn in the four here. May as well drain this one out. Okay. See if we can't get the rest of the way. Uh, probably not through all of this. Again, it's this truck behind me is what's doing that. And then I think what we're going to do is position the fuel truck somewhere over here, like on the middle to the west side, because we have to come down here, get mediums, get longs, make a couple of trips with longs. So yeah, I think we'll just leave the fuel truck down on this side. Um, when we're done with the wooden planks, we'll probably use up the rest of that little fuel trailer that's up there. But that'll work. We'll grab that when we come back out. I have no idea where the railroad tracks go here. There's rail sections and then there's like spawned rail sections that are different. Oh no. That's not good. Um we have to come back for this thing, probably. I guess we could come rescue it with the Dan, maybe. I, don't, I need to drop this trailer off in order to get to it. Where is this? Oh, you know what? We have to come back with this trailer. We need to co actually come back all the way this way. Okay, that works. In order to deliver this, it delivers, like, over here, I think? Or over here? Somewhere, somewhere up here. And... Yeah, we gotta at least bring it up to here if we're gonna take this sort of t interesting path. Up this way. Maybe, maybe that's the way we'll take it. I don't really want to go down this terrible freaking way, though. With a trailer. Uh, we'll decide. The woes of making a train of vehicles. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I think the... Where do those cement go to? We'll look. I think the cement actually comes down this way. So we might actually have to bring the Dan this way.
don't. <laughs> I saw. I was like, yeah, that's a that's a dip. Okay. Okay. Repair. Serv Ooh, service trailer's got a lot. Okay, we'll fix it all from the service trailer. Uh, shh. Shoot. I just used all the tires. Did that screw me? Uh, I don't know. I should have put a couple of tires in it first. I mean, it's fixed. Oh, that could suck. I need you to stop trying to kill me. Alright. Uh, we're detaching from this death trap. Man. <laughs> okay. I really hope that didn't screw me for turning this in. We're gonna find out. Because I know it has to be turned in with, like, so much percentage, usually. But, does the percentage count for spare tires? This will be interesting. I have to find a way to get that truck out of the way, too. So I can either get past... We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't feel like going down that extra windy path with this trailer that's trying to tip me every time I go around a corner, so... We're gonna go back the long way. Find out if this thing uh, screwed me or not. <laughs> if I have to like drive all the way to the Chatcher warehouse to fix it or just reset the. I mean, I could just reset the task, I guess. It would reset the position of the trailer, but hopefully it resets the stuff in it.
actually probably enough. Probably enough. And yep, there is a little spot here to get it out of the way. Of the pole or the truck. That is the pole. Yep. Okay. Change. I need to leave room for me to turn around as well. Okay. Refuel. Both of us. Oops. Guess not. Not quite close enough. That kind of sucks. I was kind of hoping to have a, a little group photo picture, but it'll just have to be the fuel truck. Alright, let me go get my trailer. <clears throat> This guy out of the way. Okay. <laughs> Big two. Sort of take three. At least the intro will be filled with a, a whole plethora of, uh... That's not solid. I have no idea what's solid over here. That one. Got lucky. Yeah, there'll be a few flips for you. <laughs> I know people love it. They love it when I suffer. <laughs> that wasn't that, it was just me being dumb. <clears throat> See what I mean about the turning radius? It's very slow. If you have to, like, react quickly, it's kind of dangerous. thousand bucks not even enough to recover it
All right. Got ourselves the other truck. All right. I think we're going to... I'm very interested to see if I screwed myself. Um... I just want to see if we can go this way. We're uh, we're gonna do some shortcut hunting in this thing that's trying to. It looks to be a solid path if you stay around the edge of this swamp. As long as it lets you stay around the edge of the swamp, I guess. I probably wouldn't take, like, long logs through here, but... This might work for some stuff. I see the road over there. A little bit of winching. A little bit sloppy. I just don't want to get caught up in those trees with this dumb trailer. It's working though. This was quite the shortcut. That cut off quite a bit. Getting stuck going downhill. Okay. Cross the river. And then there's like a bit of a path around where this bridge that is out requires this service trailer to fix. Something to I don't think that's solid, no. Yikes. Okay, where do I have to go here? I have to go this way. And then around here. And I think this is where the trailer goes, and we just have to unlock the task a little bit further. Come on. Get up in there.
boy, is this a slop pit, too. That is a gnarly looking divot. Okay, I know what we're doing. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. Is that... Is that the task? That might be the task. Excursion. No, that's not the task. This damn trailer, I tell you. <laughs> Out to get me. Gotta go. Oh, yeah, we're not even close to that building yet. Man, look at this turn. Just difficult terrain. It's it's fun. It's very fun to navigate in here. It's just very challenging. And I don't think that's gonna end. We have season basically all of year one to do, and uh, yeah, we all know how that went. <laughs> year one was popular, but also very unpopular. Just gonna pop my tire. Not if I go... hit the freaking button again. Whenever I like spaz out, I hit the button. Kind of like squeeze the controller. Okay. I think we're gonna attach this trailer. I think we need to help ourselves get out of here first. I almost feel like just winching this thing the rest of the way. Oh, is that the task? That's the task. Jeebers. Please work. Oh, thank you. Thank you for not making me fill that thing. Okay. This is just gonna stay here. That would have been awful. So this path is now open. I don't really know how it looks. It's probably awful. But it is a way to... bring long logs up to the bridge. I guess we'll have to take a look at it. Where the heck do these cement go? I think the cement go down here. One of these. This one here. And then that unlocks the concrete slab and the two rails. Which is the ones that spawn. Which we need the big trailer for. Oh, we got to do this one first. Okay, so these are the other two rail sections. That's far away. That's really far away. Okay. And then there's a fuel trailer, like, right? I wonder if we can see it. Somewhere right in here, I think. 
by this river. Uh, okay. Let's do this. Let's take a trip in the Dan. Go through our treacherous path again. <laughs> this thing does okay at it. Uh... And then I think we're done with this trailer. Because the slabs we're going to bring over with the... Uh... Well, maybe not. Maybe we'll go get the slabs with this. Or at least meat. Because then uh, otherwise we got to drive the... Kenworth all the way back. Which I guess wouldn't be the end of the world. Not terrible. Yeah, I think we'll just... We'll, we'll get rid of this trailer. The Dan did good in Don. The Don didn't do so good in Don. <laughs> it really wasn't needed, really, more than anything. I could have just used this or an off-road truck for it. To do all of the scouting. Probably would have been more useful, too, because I could have, uh... Besides for, I guess, the trailer. We did scan, like, one spot just to open it up. I wonder if I shouldn't go snag that trailer on my way through. That was scary. That unpacked. Okay, so up here, where is that anyhow? The ways away from where we're going. Let's get up to the, where that uh, fuel trailer was. And we'll decide, I guess we do sort of have to pass the log station, so it wouldn't be terrible to bring that sucker with us. Don't, don't. Okay. No crane. <laughs> no losing cargo. Yep, and then uh, in between I'm going to take the Phoenix back and we'll figure out what we're going to use it for. Something. EBD. is the watchtower that we went to. Straight is the warehouse. Take a look at the path once we get up here. I think it's just off to the left. And then we drive right through the log station, so I might grab that fuel trailer and yank it over there. Just so we have fuel directly at the log station. Really only three trips there. Um, yeah, let's just pull this forward a little more. So we can snag it on the way back through. I 
Right about... There it is. Yep, not far at all. And everything is just tippy and wants to... throw you off. Oh, uh, logs that way, maybe? I don't know. Going over that bridge with logs. That makes me nervous. I guess let's refuel from it while we're here. Make sure it's got fuel in it, which it does. Can I get this one? Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. This is the last of the cement. Get that finished. don't really like this mound that I have to drag this thing over. If I can get it tricked into coming gently. Kind of like that. Ooh, <laughs> just in range of that fuel trailer. All right, fuel trailer, come along with us. Yikes. This is the log station. Yeah, I'm very glad I'm taking two very strong trucks through this. We're stuck on a route. Somewhere. That, that one. Yup. Yeah. That's the log station. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. You stay there. So the way through... Oh my goodness. Uh, you can probably actually go straight and then up into here, but this looks like a really steep hill. I guess we'll, we'll eyeball it when we get up there. Trying to see if taking logs this way would make sense. We also have to take the big trailer. Big coiled tubing trailer. Yikes. There's a bridge over here that requires mediums as well, so we'll do that first, probably, when we bring the uh, Kenworth over. Uh, oh, I know what we can do with the... Jeez. Uh, yeah, this way with logs is gonna suck. 
Like this big rock jutting out of the side here that's going to get me hung up as well. Nope. Freaking hell, look at this trailer. Yeah, I think we're done with this trailer after this. We have another one over there if we absolutely need it. Uh, yeah, this way with logs. That's not good. Stay in there, please. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. We're, we're like right here, dude. Uh, that's a go down it in low and hope that the logs don't come flying off. Which is also why I put a crane on that truck. Looks like we're gonna need it. And yeah, this is where we take the mediums as well. Right up into this nonsense. There's the coiled tubing trailer. Holy crap. Wow. Well... <laughs> That was an episode. I think we're gonna try and get this thing out of here. Oh, it doesn't have diff lock either. Yep, we're gonna drive this thing back. So this is where we're gonna leave you for today, as always. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.